In our previous lesson, we added a file to demonstrate how features and components work, but we didn't go in depth with the subject. In this video, we will see how MSI handles files. Files are one of the items that Windows Installer cannot recreate or reproduce. They can be stocked as individual files near the MSI and also compressed into a cabinet file that can be internal or external. The two important tables for files are the file table and the remove file table. When you add files into your MSI, all the necessary information is stored inside the file table. This includes unique identifying key of the file inside the MSI database, what component is the file part of, the actual name of the file, language and so on. For example, let's navigate to the Files and Folders page and add some files. Now, if we go into the Table Editor and check out the File Table, all the required information is already filled in by Advanced Installer. One important aspect to keep in mind is the file versioning. During the installation, the installer must determine if a file should or shouldn't be installed according to the flag of the component where it's located. Things get a bit complicated when there is already an existing file with the same name and the same placement on the machine as the one installed from the MSI. In these situations, the installer verifies the file's version, the date of creation and the language. The installer uses the following rules to determine the installation of the file. The file with the biggest version will always overwrite the existing file on the machine. But if the file on the machine doesn't have a version, a file with a version will always be installed over an unversioned file. Or if the file which is installed has a different language than the file already on the machine, the file matching the language of the installed product will be favored. The remove file table contains the list of the files that will be erased. You have the choice to erase files during the installation, repair or uninstallation of packages. If there is no file specified, the empty directory will be erased. Now, let's say I have a file sample.exe in program files my app that I want to remove during the installation of my MSI. All you need to do is click New File Operation, File Remover. Type the file name of the file and click OK. Now, if we navigate to the Table Editor and select Remove File Table, we can see that sample.exe is removed during the installation of the component and the component location points to program files my app. Easy, right? Now that we covered how files work, let's have a look at the registry in our next video. Remember, you have all the information covered in this video and more in the MSI packaging book. Check the link for download in the description of this video.